House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says the House will vote tomorrow on the bipartisan infrastructure bill before the massive multi-trillion dollar spending plan. Far left now threatening to vote it down. Listen. The pigs fly here on Capitol Hill. Um, you know, I have seen bills come together very quickly and I am doing everything I can to move the discussion forward on the reconciliation bill so that we can finalize that, finish that. The whole thing has to be finished. Okay. Larry Kudlow, anchor the Kudlow Report on Fox Business. How you doing, Larry? Good morning to you. Dana and I have found you a gem or two. Uh, $3.5 <laughs> trillion in return for zip, zero, not a none. Roll it. Here's the collection of reaction. It is zero price tag on the debt. We're paying. We're going to pay for everything we spend. This is a zero dollar bill because it's all going to be paid for with taxes on the wealthiest corporations and the wealthiest individuals. It will be paid for. And that's the, the beauty of it by having those in our, our economy and society who have not paid their fair share paying their fair share. Of the investments that were proposed, uh, uh, including tax cuts and the pay fors, including making the tax system more fair, zero. There, there you go, Larry. Um, that is the beauty of it. <laughs> it's awesome. It's totally awesome. Uh, I guess to be polite, since I respect the institution of the presidency, I'll just call it misinformation, okay? Here's the point. So far, what we know about this bill, which is a terrible bill, save America, kill the bill. But so far, what we know, the House Budget Committee, Mark, is $4.3 trillion in new spending. The House Ways and Means Committee tax increase mark scored by the Joint Tax Committee is 2.0 trillion. I think it's unassailable logic that 4.3 trillion in spending is higher than 2 uh, trillion in taxes by 2.3 trillion. So to say that it pays for itself, the pay fors don't pay for. It's not free. It's not cost free. And by the way, it will do great damage to the economy, to the workforce, uh, to basically uh, a new uh, big government socialism welfare dependency state. We don't want this. We don't need this, and we don't want it. President Biden is in quite a bind legislatively because he wants the infrastructure bill, but the progressives really want the reconciliation bill, which is the bigger number. So um, you were in the White House, and they're trying to map this out. What do you think happens in the next 48 hours? Well, that's a good question, Dana. I, what I see here is mutually assured destruction mm -hmm. between the far, far left and the far left of the Democratic Party. I have no idea how this is going to... I always look at them as one. In effect, it's, they were always linked, even though the president tried to say they weren't. Then he said they were. Then they said they weren't. There is a vote scheduled for Thursday. Um, I don't think that vote will take place if the speaker doesn't have the votes. So I, I think she's got a problem. But again, I, I don't think America needs this kind of thing. I mean, you've got high inflation right now, which is damning all kind of middle class people, lower income people. Uh, the prices of food and fuel and power are going way up. Um, auto prices are going way up. Do we really want six trillion dollars worth of new spending right now? Do well, we really you need might this? Not, but uh, and but do we the progressives on the Democratic left, I mean, they're, they're pining for it, Larry. You, you mentioned prices. Show them the screen, guys. Car and truck rentals up 52 and a half percent uh, year after year. Gas is up a buck. Hotels up about 20 percent. What your steak and ribs, Larry's up 11 percent. Milk's about three, and eggs are about 10 percent. So you're right on that, and possibly it goes higher. Yeah, look at uh, probably number one issue right now is inflation. In fact, most polls show inflation is a bigger worry than unemployment, which is a very unusual situation. What we don't need is, let's say, six trillion dollars combine the two bills, six trillion dollars, some such in new spending. And by the way, the Federal Reserve is printing new money to finance this new spending. And that adds to the inflation problem. The Fed has bought almost 60 percent of all the new bonds that have been sold in the last 18 months. We don't need more of that. And I want to tell you, too, look, we don't need higher taxes. This is a perfectly decent economy. It still is the legacy of the Trump 
tax cuts and deregulation, although these bills would repeal and reverse that. The fact remains, it would throw a wet blanket. I mean, estimates, the Tax Foundation, the Penn, the University of Pennsylvania, Wharton model, other models show uh, you'll lose almost a trillion dollars of GDP. You'll lose three or four hundred thousand jobs. Mm -hmm. Worker wages are going to go down. When you raise taxes on companies large and small, mm -hmm. who do you think pays those taxes? Well, I mean, companies I, don't pay we, taxes. We know People you, pay taxes. Sorry for the interruption. We've got to run. We're going to get to this hearing in a moment here. Republicans are thinking that way, Larry. I mean, maybe Manchin and maybe Cinema Dana, maybe they're thinking the same way. Yes. Uh, we shall see in time. Thanks, yeah, Larry. Uh, nice to see you. Cinema. Thank you, Dana. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Bill. Appreciate yeah. it.